वेलकम टू माइक्रोवेव एंड इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक्स लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश धोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू ट्रांसमिशन लाइन लॉसेस इन दिस वीडियो सो हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू डिस्कस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लॉसेस व्हिच इज हैपनिंग इन ट्रांसमिशन लाइन सो लेट अस स्टार्ट दिस सेशन विथ फर्स्ट लॉस दैट इज एटेन्युएशन लॉस दिस लॉस हैपेंस इन ट्रांसमिशन लाइन ड्यू टू absorption of signal right and usually you will be observing this absorption of signal is happening in dielectric material as if you want to calculate attenuation loss then in terms of energy we can calculate it basic formula of calculation of attenuation loss is 10 log of ei minus er divided by et where ei is incident energy ei er is reflected energy and et is total energy transmission through transmission line and if you know the basic relation of energy and voltage then this basic relation is energy is proportional to square of the voltage right so that relation that we can place it here to have this basic formula of attenuation loss in terms of voltages so here i'll place energy is proportional to square of the voltage now let us substitute this proportionality in basic formula of energy and that proportionality will get cancel and let me rewrite this attenuation loss formula in terms of voltages so here this ei now that i'll be replacing by vi square minus this er that i'll be replacing by vr square where vr is reflected voltage and vi is incident voltage and this et that is what transmission energy so in terms of voltage it is vi square minus vr square into e to the power minus 2 alpha l so during transmission attenuation is happening where this alpha that is attenuation constant and this l is length of the transmission line so as if you want to simplify this further then you see this term that will get cancel and simplified calculation of attenuation loss that will be 10 log of now you see this term that will go in numerator and this will get cancel so this will be e to the power 2 alpha l right now this 2 alpha l that will come front so attenuation constant that is 20 alpha l log of e and if you calculate this in calculator then you will be getting this calculation will be attenuation loss is equals to 8.686 alpha l so this is a basic formula of attenuation loss now next loss that i'll be going to discuss is reflection loss this reflection loss that is present in transmission line due to mismatch of transmission line right so whenever you have transmission line which is not having impedance matching with source in that case there will be reflection so it is happening due to mismatch of transmission line now when you want to calculate reflection loss in terms of energy then basic formula that is 10 log of ei divided by ei minus er now as earlier i have told energy that is proportional to square of the voltage so here we can apply that over here even so we can say this is 
tan log of ei that will be now vi square divided by ei that is vi square minus er that is vr square so that is how by using energy is proportional to voltage square we can rewrite this formula in terms of voltage now let us simplify this uh, reflection loss calculation so to simplify this further i'll be going to divide this vi square from numerator and denominator so we'll be having 1 in numerator and in denominator 1 minus mode of vr by vi whole square now one should know see mode of vr by vi that is reflection coefficient so reflection coefficient is reflected voltage divided by incident voltage and if we place that then we can have this reflection loss in terms of reflection coefficient so let us place this reflection coefficient over here so reflection loss that is tan log of 1 divided by 1 minus square of reflection coefficient and here keep this thing in your mind it is mode of square of reflection coefficient right now next loss that i'll be discussing is transmission loss so that explains how much total loss that is happening in transmission line during its propagation now when you want to calculate total transmission loss in transmission line then that is tan log of ei divided by et now see this transmission loss that we can derive based on reflection loss and this attenuation loss right so if you observe attenuation loss that is ei minus er by et in log right and if you observe this reflection loss so that is ei divided by ei minus er right so if you want to have this transmission loss in terms of reflection loss and attenuation loss then all we will be doing is will be multiplying and dividing ei minus er so here ei divided by ei minus er that i am doing into ei minus er divided by et if i do this then i can have this losses in terms of attenuation loss and reflection loss so in logarithm we can have this as log of this plus log of this so this will be tan log of ei divided by ei minus er plus tan log of ei minus er divided by et now if you see this tan log of ei divided by ei minus er then that is reflection loss you see right and if you observe tan log of ei minus er by et that is attenuation loss so this is reflection loss plus this is attenuation loss and reflection loss that we have calculated tan log of you see 1 divided by 1 minus mode of rho square and this is attenuation loss that we have calculated you see attenuation loss that is 8.686 alpha l so this is how we can have transmission loss right now once we have transmission loss we can identify many other parameters regarding transmission line that is vswr attenuation constant as well as 
reflection coefficient so there are different types of questions that will come based on these equations now next i'll be going to explain is return loss so when we talk about return loss that happens at port of transmission line and that is happening due to impedance mismatch of port with transmission line now when you want to calculate return loss and that is simply tan log of ei divided by er and as energy is proportional to square of the voltage we can say this is tan log of vi square divided by vr square and if you take if you see this calculation right then that is what square of 1 divided by square of the reflection coefficient so we can say this is tan log of 1 by square of reflection coefficient and if we further simplify this then we can say this is 20 log of 1 by reflection coefficient or i can say reflection coefficient to the power minus 1 and remember my dear friends see this my losses are always negative right so many of the times in textbook you will be observing this negative sign is not there so you will be observing it has been written like this only 20 log of rho right but see here negative sign is there but losses are always negative by default that have been considered like that and formula is written otherwise always there will be negative sign in front of losses as it is lost during propagation of signal through transmission line but here when we calculate losses at the time we don't need to consider that negative sign now last is insertion loss that i'm going to discuss now see insertion loss that we consider due to we have inserted one device in the system so we need to calibrate reception of energy with device and without device so insertion loss means what it is a loss that happens due to device is inserted with system now let us consider we have e1 energy with device and e2 energy without device so insertion loss that is been defined as tan log of e2 by e1 so this is how we can calibrate different types of losses happening in transmission line i hope you have understood this and these are very essential formulas which we need to use it to calibrate how many losses that is happening while signal is propagating through transmission line i hope you have understood this and please ask your queries in comments i'll be happy to help you